In our case, the inside unit of our AC system is working perfectly. However, on the outside, while the fan is working perfectly, my dad says he doesn't hear any noise coming from the compressor. And so we think the issue is this capacitor here. So, I mean, hope we hope that the issue is the capacitor uh, and not the compressor, because that would be expensive to replace. And we tested this uh, capacitor for its capacitance. We found that it was out of tolerance. And so we're gonna try to replace it with this new capacitor and see if that fixes our issue. So you should unplug all the wires from the prongs before you measure the capacitance. And if you're dealing with old capacitors, they don't have markings on them, which indicate, you know, common hermetic and fan. And you can check like, you know, the manual or the specs sheets for these to find out what means what, but ideally you should take a picture of your capacitor before you disconnect any wires using a plier. But have no fear because we have this guide here and my dad's teaching me as we're going along that a different number of prongs can mean uh, different things for different capacitors. And so usually on a capacitor with three uh, leads, a four prong means that it's common, three prong means that it's hermetic, and two prongs means that it's fan. So capacitors store a lot of energy. And when we're dealing with capacitors, we want to make sure that before we work with them, we release that energy. So first off, you want to wear some rubber gloves to protect yourself. And ideally, you take a screwdriver with a rubber handle and you would connect all the leads to release that charge. In our case, you can see that there, we're not able to actually connect our leads because of this barrier. So instead, we're going to use alligator clips to connect our leads. So in this instance, I shall, I'll show you how to do it. First connect these two with leads. Let that discharge. Same on this side. And do it here. And finally, let's connect the last two. In our case, we're not worried because we haven't plugged back in the breaker, so there should be no charge in the capacitor. So we're going to test our capacitor. And ideally, we would do it with the wires disconnected because the other components can affect the readings that we get. Okay, so now we're going to unplug this and test it. Okay. 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 So let's move this out of the way. Okay, and so let's connect it to common, and let's test the the compressor first. So forty seven point five, uh, which is you know teetering on the edge of out of tolerance because five percent of fifty would be two point five, which is almost forty seven point five. Let's try on the fan. Which is 2.96. Which, I mean, that's still with intolerance, but that the, the, the compressor seems to be our issue here. That's just almost out of tolerance. And that might be just out of tolerance enough that it could be the capacitor is bad. So uh, we, we have tested this capacitor before and every time we tested it, it gave us different readings. Before, uh, when, we re when we read it, it was, at, it was out of tolerance. And one time when we read it, it went from zero to infinity. So, uh, oh, and also we, just to clear, uh, cover our bases, we did test it with the wires disconnected, if you're wondering. Okay, so now we're gonna test the new one. And what we're looking for is, according to the specs, 50 microfarads from the compressor and 3 microfarads for the fan. So let's connect it. So let's try the fan first. That was a bit loose on the common. Let's see. It reads about 2.9 microfarads, which 
you know, that's with intolerance, like 5%, so 5% out of 3. What about for the compressor? This is kind of hard. Okay. That reads about 50.2, which is within tolerance. So that means that our compressor is up to spec. I meant to say capacitor. For some reason, I keep messing that up. Okay, so we're, we're sure that it's the capacitor that's the issue. So we're going to take it out and replace it with a new one. But, you know, we're going to test how it is right now and see if that makes a difference. So first we're going to connect to the fan, right? You can see this says C, F, and H, and I'll explain what that means as we're looking at the capacitor. So C, F, and H, which you can also see on this new capacitor, refer to common, hermetic, and fan. And the reason that they use hermetic, hermetic means compressor, but sometimes they, they just use the first letter of the word, and if you use compressor, that would be C. And you don't want to confuse that with common, so they call it hermetic instead. You can see right now that the reading is over limit, OL. And so that means our compressor, uh, that our capacitor is bad. Okay, so let's try connecting this to the hermetic or the compressor, because that was the fan before. And that also gives us over limit. And so that makes sense because this compressor is what, 23 years old? And you're supposed to replace, no, sorry, this capacitor is 23 years old. And you're actually supposed to replace capacitors every five to seven years. So we're actually kind of lucky that it's lasted this long. So the way that my dad explained it to me is that there's 240 volts coming out of here. And this is a 240 volt system, but it comes out through two 120 volt wires. You know, 110, 115, 120, same thing. And then they go to the contactor. And you'll see on the contactor that this side is still connected. And so this end will still measure with power. This side needs a switch to be closed in order for it to uh, also detect power. And so right now you'll see when I measure these, It reads 240 volts. When I measure these, I should measure 120 because it's only getting one side, but you can see it's not getting the desired reading. And if we use the voltage pen, text voltage here, here, and here. And it also measures here. And so even though theoretically we think that, oh, a switch has to close for this circuit to run, that means that this side is still live, which means that you should not you should not touch it directly and don't get electrocuted. And so that's what my dad wants to emphasize, you know, the whole safety of it all.